They did it again. They ran and they're running another rich guy at us, but like as if we somehow didn't know we already had a rich guy already running at us. You know, Deval Patrick. He he not only announced that he was going to run, he was thinking about running. Well, he actually threw his hat in the ring. We now have Deval Patrick in the race for the nomination after years of him talking and procrastinating. And in my understanding, his wife didn't want him to run because she's smart. Maybe she knows what we know or what I know at this point, which I'll get to later. Deval Patrick, former governor of Massachusetts, Bank capital guy, worked for Pexacola, Texaco, and um, AmeriQuest or some conglomerate of hedge funds. Well, not hedge funds, but a property, something to do with property and management or, I don't know, taking home loans and doing stuff with them and throwing them in the air. Well, anyway, he's entered the race. And it's just what we needed, got jo- jo- Gosh. And it's just what we needed, Johnson. We needed ourselves. A guy with a lot of money and a lot of connections. A centrist who's unexcited about running as he is unexcited about us changing anything in this godforsaken system. Ladies and gentlemen, here goes the campaign ad for Deval Patrick. Now, it's going to feel like you're transported back to the 80s. Yeah, because he's got his finger on the pulse of what's happening now, man. Woo! But what it makes up for, or what it lacks in being, you know, current, it makes up for with nostalgia. Check it out. Hi, everyone. I'm Deval Patrick. I used to be governor of Massachusetts, but that's not where I started. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. I lived there with my grandparents, my mother and sister in our grandparents' two-bedroom tenement, some of that time on welfare. And still, my grandmother used to tell us we were not poor, just broke. Because broke, she said, is temporary. Through the love and support of family, great teachers, adults in the neighborhood and in church, I learned to look up, not down, to hope for the best and work for it. I was the first in my family to go to college and law school and have had a chance to work in government, in nonprofits, and in business. I've had a chance to live my American dream. But over the years, I've seen the path to that dream gradually closing off bit by bit. The anxiety and even anger that I saw in my neighbors on the south side, the sense that the government and the economy were letting us down, were no longer about us, is what folks feel all over America today in all kinds of communities. I admire and respect the candidates in the Democratic field. They bring a richness of ideas and experience and a depth of character that makes me proud to be a Democrat. But if the character of the candidates is an issue in every election, this time is about the character of the country. This time is about whether the day after the election America will keep her promises. This time is about more than removing an unpopular and divisive leader, as important as that is, but about delivering instead for you. So in a spirit of profound gratitude for all the country has given to me, and with a determination to build a better, more sustainable, more inclusive American dream for the next generation, I am today announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. Come be a part of this. We will build as we climb to welcome other teachers and learners, other seekers of a better way and builders of a better future. This won't be easy, and it shouldn't be, but I'm placing my faith in the people who feel left out and left back, who just want a fair shot at a better future, not built by somebody better than you, not built for you, but built with you. Now let's get started. Hi, everyone. My name is Deval Patrick. I'm horrible. Well, I'm not horrible, really. I just sound as if I have something very large shoved up my ass when I speak. It's from years and years of denying that I am actually black. I was the first one in my family to sell out my family, to throw my soul on the roulette table and say, give her a spin. 
I went to great schools, lost all my melanin, became a white guy that black guys hate. And a black guy, white people didn't want to be like. But I made a whole lot of money. I threw a whole lot of people out on the street on their asses just so that I can do what I'm doing now. Regret it all. And I owe a lot of people favors, too. Yeah, you don't sell your soul like I've sold my soul, and you don't end up owing a lot of favors. So I'm running for president to stop that damn Bernie Sanders. That's right. I'm not going to lie to you. That's my total purpose. I sound a lot like Joe Biden, but I'm not senile. Also, I don't smell people's hair. But as far as policy and what I'm about, we're pretty much the same. I wish Joe was doing his job better. Then I could sit around and sail my ships and drive my Trans Am and just do nothing. But unfortunately, I got to pay back all the people who've allowed me to be me. I'm running for president. Not that I'm excited about it. But it's what I got to do. Because frankly, the DNC's got so much dirt on me about my brother-in-law who I fired people so he wouldn't have to register as a sex offender. And then he committed a rape. Well, let's just say I owe people some favors. So guys, don't vote for me because you're excited about changing the future. Because I'm not your guy. And yeah, I was mad when Obama ran, but he's a much better politician than me. And I wouldn't know charisma if it fell out the sky and landed on my head. I'm Deval Patrick, a name you should forget as soon as you learn it. Not unlike Pete Buttigieg. It takes work. He became a governor. He became a governor, ladies and gentlemen. Some people voted for that guy. Let it sink in. Swirl it around in your head. Also let it sink in that there are people who saw this atrocious WKRP in Cincinnati Um, family ties esque commercial and thought yeah this is what this race needs and right now they're on cable cable news and they're saying how he's got a shot at something he wouldn't have a shot if he had a full clip in an AR-15 Deval Patrick is a slap in the face for every voter out there who can see, hear, and tell when this BS being spread. But see, they don't respect us at all. They think we're that dumb that we would support this guy. I've met white guys who were blacker than Deval Patrick. I've met Asians with more soul. And it's not about his color, but come on, if he was a white guy, would they be asking this guy to run? And don't tell me they didn't ask this guy to run. This guy's got to be smart. He knows who he is. He has to know. It's sort of like, the, you remember American Idol? I don't know if, even know if it still comes on. But there would be people that would go on that show who couldn't sing for nothing. Couldn't hold a note. They were horrible. I think they knew Johnson. But they wanted to be on TV for a minute. And they figured, hey, it's not so bad if we're all laughing at the same time. Deval Patrick, he knows that he's this that he can't he Deval Patrick makes Elizabeth Warren seem very interesting. And that ain't easy to do. Hey, look, I'm not saying the guy isn't accomplished. He's accomplished. But at what cost? I used to work with some guys like this, you know? 
It's why I do what I do now, because I don't want to be those guys. I was never going to fit in with these guys. Guys who sold their soul to have nice, shiny offices. But inside, hollow. All I'm trying to tell you guys is it's obvious that the Democratic Party, they're still running people at Bernie. They want to stop Bernie. And they're willing to do whatever they need to do to do it, even if they got to dust off Deval Patrick and send him out here to embarrass himself. It's a shame. They're not just scratching the bottom of the barrel with this. They're picking the barrel up. They're running their fingers underneath the goo underneath the barrel. They're balling it up, and they're throwing it on a ballot, and they're saying, that's what I think of you. America. And all I'm saying is take the goo off the ballot, ball it up, and throw it back in their faces and vote for a progressive. Did you enjoy that content? I know you did. You got great taste, Johnson. What can I say? Become a member of the Tim Black Wolf Pack today right here on YouTube or go to patreon.com Tim's Take Live. And you'll get free stuff, special stuff, secret stuff. Do it today. Wolfpack.